I love it. He's always wanted to do the weather yeah, forecast. He He's has. done it out in Bermuda for you. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> he gets to keep the lovely conditions, unfortunately. We don't because it is turning more unsettled and fresher for those people who don't like the really hot and sticky conditions. So overnight tonight we are expecting it to be very warm and today we saw lovely highs of 33 Celsius through Berkshire and Surrey, 32 widely, but at Swanage on the south coast just a high of 20 Celsius. That's because of the deve developing sea breeze during the course of the day. We did break some records today. This was today the hottest summer solstice the warmest June day since 1976 and the hottest day of this year so far. Overnight tonight, as I said, we are going to have some really quite muggy conditions. This was a scene first thing this morning taken by our weather watcher in Ride on the Isle of Wight. The sunrise on the solstice. Through the course of tonight, it will be very mild indeed. Maybe some coastal fog developing during the early hours of the morning. Developing through the English Channel, then moving inland during the course of the night. Where we have the clear skies, temperatures will fall away to around 15 Celsius, but with a cloud moving in, temperatures will fall away to around 17 to 18 Celsius, and the winds will be light. So a murky start for coastal stretches, a fairly cloudy start for most places. During the course of the morning, thundery showers will rattle their way through, and now the Met Office have issued a rain warning for those showers. There could be some torrential downpours through tomorrow morning giving some really quite significant rainfall totals leading to localised flooding and we may have some disruption from some lightning strikes as well. Temperatures tomorrow up to a fresher 23 to 24 Celsius with a westerly breeze and the breeze will be stronger for coastal areas. Through the course of tomorrow night there will be varying amounts of cloud, a few clear spells. It should stay mainly dry tomorrow night and temperatures will fall away to around 13 to 15 Celsius. Slowly but surely temperatures are starting to head down by day and night back to their seasonal average. Friday, well, we'll have uh, a fair amount of dry weather, some sunny spells here and there, varying amounts of cloud. If you do have any sunny spells, the UV levels will be high, as will the pollen levels. So looking ahead to the rest of the week, a fair amount of cloud, as I said, but some sunny spells to be had after a cloudy start tomorrow. There is, though, the risk of some really quite torrential downpours, which may lead to flash flooding in a few places, mainly for areas east of the Isle of Wight. Through Friday and Saturday, a cloudy start to each day, but brightening up and the best day of the weekend will be su Sunday, dry, sunny, with highs of 20 Celsius. You've upset one person on the sofa. I know. She Joe loves the hot. Loves the hot. Loves the hot. I'm going out on a boat tomorrow as well. <laughs> That's it from us. More at 8 and 10.35. We're back tomorrow. Half past six. Join us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.